All right, y'all. D Lo 404 Boxing. I just want to speak on this Erickson Lubin stoppage on Rosario. Um, I made a breakdown video about this fight, uh, I think it was yesterday, maybe this morning. I can't remember when it was, but, um, you know, I, I talked about all the things that I felt like Lubin would be able to do in that fight. And I feel like the fight, you know, kind of went as though I had, went the way I thought it would. Um, I definitely um, felt like going in that at some point in the fight, unless it ended super early, that Lubin would also find himself hurt in this fight. And that was the case. Um, I picked Lubin on champ Ross by fifth round, excuse me, by sixth round stoppage. That ended up being the round he got a stoppage in. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled about that. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm more thrilled that Lubin was able to get this win. It's a, a good, credible win. Yet, yet another good, credible win for a guy that a lot of people wanted to write off at 154, following um, the disaster that was the Jamel Charlo title fight for him. And, um, you know, I, I like a story of redemption. You know, um, at the end of the day, he's working hard trying to get himself back in the title contention. And, and right now, Jamal Charlo, excuse me, Jamel Charlo, has three of the four major belts, and he's about to fight in a fight for the other major belt. So, um, once this, that fight is over, there will only be one champion for the, for the um, that period of time. You know, immediately after that fight, so Lubin will know who he should be gunning for after that fight's concluded. So, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. But even without that, there are a lot of good fights that Lubin could make. There's the J-Rock fight. Um, Hurd may eventually get himself back down to 54. I don't know if Lars coming back to 54. I do know that Lubin was also trying to make a fight with Tony Harrison um, a couple, well, probably about six, seven months back. You know, so there's quite a few names at 54 that Luba could mix it up with. So uh, there's a lot of opportunities at 54, a lot of, a lot of action there, um, you know, mix and matching at 54. So uh, once again, great win for Lubin. Um, I want to see what's next for him. I think the sky's the limit for the young man. As long as he stays um, grounded, centered, and focused on improving his craft and getting better each time out. That's all I got to say on the subject. Below 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.